stylists have lost their collective minds. So an SMG that not many people use, not many people talk about in Phantom Forces is going to have to be the M3A1. Now in real life, this is one of my favorite weapons because I just love how crude it is. I love how simple and basic it is. It's basically just a chunk of metal with a trigger and a magazine and it just works, right? And especially in Phantom Forces, I think it's kind of cool the way that it's just got like that slow chugging fire rate, that pretty high damage. And overall, it just feels like a fun weapon for its unlock rank. <sighs> but if we come to the test place, oh, of course, because they've been doing Look at all these changes, dude. I, I can't even keep up with this. They have made this thing not only a two-shot guaranteed out to 60 studs, not including its multipliers, but when you include the headshot multiplier in particular, it can do up to 85.8 damage. That, that is ridiculous. So if we look at this weapon completely bone stock, this thing is a damage machine. They have lost their minds. So if we just take a quick peek at the man game here, we can actually see that the M3A1 is still a pretty decent weapon. With its torso multiplier and stuff, it does have a guaranteed kill out to about 50, 55 studs-ish. And 48 base damage is fine. It still has the same 1.65 headshot multiplier and stuff. It's got 1,500 muzzle velocity, which is fine. I guess it works. 450 fire rate, 30 round magazine, you know, all the standard stuff that you'd expect if you have ever used this weapon before. But again, coming back to the test place, we can see that they have made it do 52 base damage out to 60 studs, and it is a guaranteed four shot at all ranges. Uh, that is, oh my god, so up the torso multiplier, up the base damage. So what exactly did they do to this weapon to, to compensate for its new damage? The, the, the muzzle velocity is 900. <laughs> what do I even say to that? What do I even say to that? You ever heard of the, um, you ever heard of the Zip 22? This this gross thing? Yeah, it has nearly double the muzzle velocity, which if you don't know, is basically how fast the bullet goes, right? So in the time that it takes this weapon to fire across this room, it takes nearly double the time for the M3A1 to fire that same distance. Stylus has lost their minds. They've officially done it. They have lost their collective minds. What am I supposed to say to this? They have made already a pretty overpowered SMG, just absolutely insane. Also, when are we gonna see this version of Metro? Please, Stylus, this version looks so good. Just add it to the main game, I beg of you. Don't even have to think. You, it's just, I can't, I can't, dude. This, <laughs> why is this so overpowered? Why did they do this? Look at that. Don't even have to think. Don't even have to think. Just hold left click. Just hold left click and you win. It's that simple. Ow. I am kind of, I am kind of curious here because I want to see <sighs> hollow point takes, <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hollow point gives you 62.4 damage. My god. Now I am curious too because I've been running this bone stock. I, I'm gonna assume because I didn't really think about it while I was using it. I'm going to assume that they've added the new recoil system to this. So let's let's take a little bit of a look here. I'm I'm definitely most curious. Oh man, I feel bad doing this to the poor M3A1, but it's gotta be done. Oh yeah. They've definitely added the new recoil for this. Look at that drop off, dude. Oh my god, it's like the freaking gyro jet. I have to aim all the way up just to hit people across over. Okay. Oh my god. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> no way. I can't. I can't, dude. I cannot believe that they did this. Dude. You don't have to do anything. Just shut off your brain. Just shut it off. Let, let's, okay. We can even cut the time to kill lower by putting a muzzle booster on it and upping it to nearly 500 fire rate. Okay, okay. And it still has like basically no recoil, dude. What it, What are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> like I showed earlier, it looks like they're basically rebalancing like most of the SMGs. Like I, it would not surprise me if they start doing this with like the rest of them. You can see here, yeah, literally more than half of the SMGs are red, which means that they're being changed. Oh my god. Like, I'm really gonna have to, whenever they do this update, I'm gonna have to do like a full overview of like everything that they did. Because this is gonna be like the biggest balance change since the beginning of the year. I, I Can I just say, by the way, I, I think I've only been killed by SMGs so far. I, I'm really starting to think that SMGs are going to become the new meta whenever <laughs> whenever this update's pushed. Just expect to see it everywhere. That's, that's, that's pretty much all that I could say. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh my god, I'm so booty cheeks. First game of the day, that's my excuse. I should throw a ballistics tracker on this, actually. You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do, because this drop-off is ridiculous. I do not know how to use this right now. Look at how high you have to aim. I He's, like, freaking, like, 30, 40 feet in front of me, and I have to aim, like, to the moon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. This thing is... Oh, god, I don't want to die. This thing is wild. 
<laughs> More SMGs. I just want to stand over here and check out the drop off. Look at how high you have to aim, dude. God, those bullets are slow too. I bet you I bet you could probably out freaking slide these bullets here. This thing is just ridiculous. Like I have 50, you guaranteed two shot out to 60 stuns. Not even including multipliers. Yeah, I it, M301's good. <laughs> Don't even have to aim. Oh, I saw that there. Why did I why did I do that? Oh no. Don't even have to aim. Don't even, I, I like, there's not much else that I can say about this. They have just made this thing insane. The muzzle velocity thing is is, is pretty bad. Again, when the Zip 22 can shoot bullets faster, or like when your muzzle velocity is nearly half the Zip 22s, you, you know, you know something ain't right. You just know something ain't right. But like usual, I like whenever they do these radical changes for stuff because it shows that they're not afraid to like really mess with stuff and really push the limits of like, what some of these weapons can do in this game. So like, yeah, sure, up your damage, but <laughs> muzzle velocity funny moments. Oh, there's, honestly, there's like so many changes to cover in here. I want to check out like all these different things. I really, really do. But I think we're probably going to end up having to wait for like the, the actual full update to come out so I can see every little thing that they've done because right now it's a little bit tedious going back and forth and trying to like go between test place and main game and see what they've done. But once that update comes out, I'm going to do literally every single weapon. It, it, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be literally like the biggest weapons change that we've had in like four or five months now. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I, I'm pretty sure I just hit him twice and did one damage apparently. Okay. I love hit reg. <laughs> Don't peek me, please. I had to hit him four times. What is, what is, what is a hit reg right now? I, I, how did I not hit him? Oh. That's why. I love ping. But yeah, this is pretty much all that I can say about the M31 in particular. It is mostly just a gargantuan damage buff for an SMG that I really don't see used all too often. I never really see people ever talk about. I never have people ask me to use their setups for it or anything like that. It's just a weapon that exists, and I'm glad that we are finally getting some changes for these weapons to make them probably a lot more used. It is a little bit difficult when there's like nearly 200 guns in this game to make everything normal and make everything viable and useful and stuff. So I, I, I understand that. I, I get it. Some stuff is just going to be used more than others but I like the effort that they're putting in for sure. Anyway, yeah, I'd like to know your favorite buffs that they've done so far in the test place. If you have checked it out, if you haven't already done so, I will leave a link to the test place in the description below so you can go and see all these new updates just for yourself. Also, we are getting close to 200,000 subscribers. And I'd definitely love if you guys could subscribe with channel notifications on, of course, to be able to help with reaching that milestone for the channel. But with that said, let me know what you think of these changes in the comment section below. Big thanks to all the channel members up on screen. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, you can do so with the Phantom Forces playlist up on screen right now. And trust me, there's plenty more videos coming up on Phantom Forces where this one came from. But of course, if you have any other games you'd like to see me make videos on, definitely let me know as well in the comment section below. And with that said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You guys have a good one and I love you. Peace. See you later.